Good evening everybody. My name is Kasturi Datta. I am a faculty and I am staying in Salt Lake in Kolkata for the last 10 years. Uh, let me introduce myself to you. I have been a guest faculty for the past 14 years and right now I am attached with British Institute and there I am teaching spoken English for the past few months. So today I have come here to tell you something about the basics of English. Firstly, why English is important because it is the official language of a country. Apart from our mother tongue, which we are accustomed with, English is used by us wherever we go, outside the state, in our profession, workplace, in colleges, schools. when we are facing somebody for the first time maybe he is uh, he doesn't know our mother tongue or he is not accustomed with his <clears throat> with this particular language so we have to communicate in english so now the fact is i want to just give you certain guidelines or certain tips this is specially for the beginners who are learning english or who wants to learn english and get fully conversant with the language firstly when you are meeting somebody so how suppose you are meeting person there are two persons mr a and mr b now mr a is asking mr b what is your name there are two persons so mr a is asking mr b what is your name so mr b answers i am suppose rishika kapoor or i am sanjay devnath or i am tina singh okay so uh, mr b or ms b she introduces herself by telling i am or she can say my name is or myself is in turn she can again ask the other person mr a could i get your name so it is not just so difficult you just learn it very in a very systematic and a very simplified manner that the person is just asking can i know your name and he is also asking what is your name so this happens when there are two persons with face to face interaction and they are conversing with each other now this is one part secondly i want to tell you suppose you have been uh, you have to go uh, for an interview or you have to <clears throat> you are visiting somebody for the first time so suppose you have been admitted to a new place and you want to meet the principal or you may want to meet a teacher for any other purpose related with your work or profession so he asks you okay ms rishika kapoor or mr devnath tell me something about yourself this is the most important and the vital part of the lesson that is introduction of somebody's self so how do you introduce first of all as i told you you just mention your name my name is myself is or i am then you go on to directly to your occupation and then currently i am a student i am studying so and so or i am engaged in service then you go on to your one by one you have to follow certain series of steps you just mention your place of birth like i was born and brought up suppose you are born in calcutta okay and you were brought up in some somewhere else suppose you are brought up in bihar or brought up in up so i was born in calcutta but i was brought up in up currently where you are staying the current location is very important because it determines your job profession where are you willing to work from that place or not okay then you say something about your parents whether your father is in service or where is a businessman or your mom is a housewife or she is employed and if you have some little brothers or sisters who are studying or who are doing some service anything like that then you say something about themselves your brothers your sisters whatever they are studying and all that then you say about your educational qualification your educational qualification is very important because that we have to inform to the person that is you are introducing yourself means how far you are educated so what is your level of education so this topic i have been facing this question wherever i went for an interview 
मैम कैन यू जस्ट टेल मी समथिंग अबाउट योर सेल्फ और टेल अस समथिंग अबाउट योर सेल्फ और इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ नाउ लाइक योर एजुकेशनल क्वालिफिकेशन इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम क्लास टेन लेवल सो आई हैव पास माय क्लास टेन एग्जामिनेशन विच बोर्ड यू जस्ट मैंशन आई सी एस सी सी बी एस ई माध्यमिक और एनी अदर स्टेट बोर्ड फ्रॉम विच स्कूल देन यू गो ऑन्ट योर क्लास टू लेवल आई पास माई हायर सेकेंडरी आई एस सी और सी बी एस ई and if you have completed graduation that also you add that i have completed my graduation in so and so stream but then then you say about your current job or profession or if you are not doing anything i'm just i just want to learn english or spoken english or i'm interested in learning english because i feel that english is very important for our service wherever we go because you have to communicate with another so the basic means of communication you cannot always use a mother tongue because other people will not follow suppose he is from any other state okay so he may not follow you no so that is why you have to communicate in english lastly if you have some aim or purpose in life my aim is to be a this and this my purpose is to achieve my goals and then fulfill my dream of my parents so this is just the beginners level i taught this i when i was teaching in british institute also i just started the lesson in this way that and it took some time it took a couple of uh, days for the students to get acquainted with about introduction of myself and you should be very much conversant the information should be specific you cannot say anything false it should be relevant because the person is having your cv or bio data so it should match with what you are saying now the thing is that there are some steps for the beginners level first of all you just try to understand the words which the other speak my person or the other speaker is saying you do not focus so much okay i have to learn english and all it's just a bit hard and fast routine you just focus on these words suppose class time i just give you two words class time so you say that ma'am my class time or my normal schedule time starts from or my daily routine suppose i say something about daily routine so one word will be given you have to focus on that particular word now the second step is that you have to give some importance to grammar because grammar is the main part of english uh, language without grammar in the absence of grammar or grammatical structure the sentence cannot be formed properly so you have to give some importance to the parts of speech and all those things nouns pronouns adjectives you have the, you should have the you should possess the basic idea and you will get accustomed because everything goes by practice It's not so difficult. Articles also follow certain concepts, certain rules. A and the. When we use the, when we use the, when we use and, names of countries. Till date, I find many students till the, at this level also they are not used to all those rules. Okay, when to use the, whether it should be used in particular sentence, when to avoid it. We not use or we not use any article sometimes in sentences. Sometimes the sentence goes without article. Gold is a precious. Gold is precious. Okay. so in like that way the dinner is we didn't say the dinner we don't say the breakfast dinner is ready so there are a lot of examples slowly when i if i take lessons i will just make use of this fact now the third thing is that you have to improve your vocabulary skill and that can be with addition of new words you have to make a list of the new words which you are learning every day and also i just advise you that english will be very much easier for you by doing certain things that like listening you can watch the bbc news or you can watch the you can hear any sort of youtube talks of eminent persons famous persons reading just go on reading loudly read each word very clearly start from a simple book do not go on to a high level because high level books will not be able to manage your language very efficiently because you not be able to understand the meaning okay and who is the person who can help you right now you yourself are the person because you are the person you are listening and you are hearing so if you want to accompany somebody you should accompany you you just stand in front of the mirror okay and just see how far how well you are able to pronounce that words how well you are able to describe yourself which words you are facing any difficulty so all these series of steps are followed this i if i show you by means of presentations then there should be some exercises and it needs a rigorous practice to achieve anything in life my last thing is that every success comes everybody gets success in their lives every success is achieved only by practice and hard work that is dedication 
you have to love whatever you are doing i love english at the end of the day or after a couple of lessons you will come and say that ma'am you really english is wonderful i just feel like learning english and saying english because i love it so you have to love whatever you are doing that is the most important factor okay thank you hope you enjoyed my speech and you will implement it and you will use it and you will achieve success in this way by following certain tips okay thank you thanks a lot